Yo, hey guys, welcome to another episode of From the Depths. <laughs> I've gotten a lot better since the last episode. Check out this uh, awesome raft I've made. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, some of you wanted me to do a little AI tutorial of how, uh, how to make a, a ship move with AI and how to make it shoot with AI. So I figured I'd do that before we jump back into the story mission. And, uh, and just to show you what I've done real quick with, uh, with, with AI, this is our devilfish ship out here. And, uh, and I've went ahead and set him on patrol. And he is completely AI controlled and he has a repair bot on himself. So he has like a little repair bot back here. Uh, he has AI controlled uh, movement and shooting, combat and patrols and all that. So if I press N right here, you can go ahead and select. Uh, you go ahead and select vehicles that are active on the field. Uh, these two test platforms don't have any AI, so there's no options. But if I click on him, the devilfish, I can tell him to patrol because I added a patrol chip which I'll get to later, and I could tell him to go, go do combat, uh, I could tell him just to not do anything, uh, so, so pretty much the way I set up his patrol route, you could just right click to take it away, uh, I just kind of went up like this, and I was just like, well, I want him to go like here, there, 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 and the only, uh, yeah, and then you just say exit, so he will go ahead and go at like slow speed, and just do a little patrol, not using up too much fuel, just nice and steady, keeping an eye out for enemies, and, and I, I did do some extra work onto this gun as well, but I will get to that later. Let's go ahead and uh, focus on some AI work here, since you guys were so wondering about it. Here is our little test platform, and let me see, let me get back into like first person mode here. Alright, so here's our little gun. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like pathetic little gun, but we're gonna make this an AI controlled gun uh, slash uh, raft as well because we have I think we have like a little motor on here. Yes, let's see Can we actually yeah, we can actually move too. see it's awesome. So we're gonna have this thing uh, <laughs> We're gonna <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't stop laughing. We're gonna have this thing AI controlled All right, so the way we're gonna do that is first we need a mainframe and uh, you can hardwire a mainframe to uh, all your modules But let's make it wireless just because it's handy and uh, it's just good to, uh, it's just a good first thing to learn. So, you're gonna go to the build menu, and then you go to AI. You need one mainframe. Well, I mean, you could have more, but usually just one on one channel is, is plenty. I mean, unless you wanna get really crazy, but. So you need one of those, and then you need a wireless transmitter. So you go ahead and just put that on the top. And if you're not sure if it's working or not, just hover over it with the block, and it says, connected to mainframe, see? So, so it's connected, it's working, so it's transmitting. And then, I'm, I'm gonna try to be brief about this too. And then you want to, uh, let's see here, then you want a local weapon controller. So a local weapon controller will control the weapon that it is uh, in front, or that it is behind. So you put that there and you hover over it and it says, controlling one weapons can aim at zero current targets. That's cool, so that means this is in control of this and I think you can move it like, I think it senses two, up to two blocks back. So yeah, if it's like that, it still senses, yeah, still controlling one weapon. And then from here, you go ahead and uh, I think you add a, uh, I think you would need a six-way connector, something like that. And then add a wireless uh, receiver. Boom. There it goes. So this is uh, receiving on channel one, connected to mainframe. See? That's good. So this says... Yeah, connected to mainframe. Awesome. So now this computer here is controlling this gun, so if there are any enemies out right now, this guy's gonna start shooting. Now what else we can do is on the mainframe itself, then this is like a crash course, guys. Like there's a little more to this, but I'm just trying to be quick. Uh, you can go ahead and add a AI card slot to add like other functionality like patrolling, like that boat over there, or uh, or other things I'll show you right now. So so right now we have four slots. I just gave uh, two of these expansions here. So we have four slots to, uh, to plug things in on. So let's go ahead and if we put a naval AI card, this little ship here is going to start sailing on its own. Uh, or it can, be, it can be sailed on its own. It can be given commands. Let's see what commands it can be given right now. Let's get out of build mode just out of curiosity. So test can be... So it can do a little combat. Okay, I don't know what that means, but we'll see. So, but really what you want... What you want is a little bit more here. So we got the naval AI, and then you also want the, uh, I mean, this is pretty standard for, and then you want the patrol card. So you plug that in, 
So that will that will go ahead and take care of. So now we should be able to put this thing on a patrol. Let's just get out of build mode. Go to N. Go to the tests, and we could say patrol. All right, so we can make this little raft go like uh, like in a little circle like this, and then click exit. See, there you go. So now our little raft is going on a patrol. How crazy is that, guys? Right? Look at it. AI, isn't that genius? All right, and then if we want this thing to shoot really well. Only thing we got to do now, I mean, it could shoot right now, it could shoot just fine, but if you want to make it shoot really good, uh, you want to have a target prioritization, so it, it's a little smart. There's some, if you press Q, there's some other, uh, I guess, functionality you can add to this, but the default is fine. I, I found the default to work good, so you just add one of those cards on there, just throw it on, and then you go ahead and add on a um, aim point selection. So putting this on makes it shoot at the enemy ammo barrels. That's, that's that little thing right there. So ammo barrels, target prioritization, uh, navigation, and then uh, patrol. Those are like the four basic good things to have. Very good things to have, actually. And, uh, and then one of these on each weapon, you know, just like one or two blocks away from, uh, from the weapon. And there you go. So now this thing can, uh, <laughs> can be in a fight. Uh, let's go ahead and save this thing. It's all ready to go. Save vehicle, test, and then let's load in an enemy test. Uh, and hopefully this thing will take a few shots before everything else finds it and blows it up. Because <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spawn it in as an enemy. So let's see here. Let's watch him fight. So load vehicle. Test. Convert it as an enemy. Okay. Let's load. <laughs> let's load it. Let's watch him fight. Alright, there we go. They're fighting. Look at them. They're, they're swimming around in there. They're shooting at each other very <laughs> accurately. Oh yeah, now now this guy's gonna get blown up by everyone. Everyone else is like, hey, that's an enemy. Okay, so yeah, so there you go. See, so they were fighting each other, and now this guy's going back on patrol. So that's how you do basic AI. Yep. All right. Okay, guys. Now back onto big business. The campaign. We are currently in a crisis. We have a strength 20 enemy coming, and the only thing we have is one little dinky devil fish. So I decided to go ahead and redo its gun. So pretty much what I did is I went ahead and just kind of uh, I, uh, I added a just just increase the gauge of it just by once so I added one more gauge increaser to it and I left the three auto loaders that I have on it one here one here this makes it shoot faster uh, and you can you can go into the options yourselves and find out you know what it does precisely but yeah so these make it shoot faster and one thing I noticed that was a big deal was that these uh, these computers down here these controlled uh, where the heck is this um, yeah, see the maximum rate per fire, or maximum fire rate? The maximum is actually two shots per, uh, what is it, per, per second I think it is? So yeah, so, so like if you have a ton of auto loader, loaders on your gun, uh, that, that make it shoot, let's see, yeah, see, so reload time, that's, that's the thing in question here, reload time. If it's below 0.5, then you're just wasting it because the AI can't shoot a gun faster than, than two rounds per second. So anything below 0 0.5 is, uh, is, is just, you know, more auto-loaders auto than you need, unless you're going to shoot it yourself. But, but yeah, so we're just about around an efficient threshold here. We've got uh, 0 0.57, so that's good. So the AI can uh, utilize the, this to the maximum effect for, for cheap, uh, cheap points costs. That's good. And, uh, yeah, and I added a, uh, yep, so it's bigger gauge now. Pretty darn accurate still. Added another, uh, another, what do you call it? One of these uh, recoil absorbers at the end here. So now we have three because this thing was pushing around a lot. But it's so destructive, guys. It's so destructive. And I'm going to show you that in like a second here. Uh, let me think. Anything else to tell you about? Oh, yeah. And I also added some uh, repair bots to our ship as well. And added the, uh, the patrol cards just like I, I showed you in the, uh, in the earlier example on that raft. So here's a patrol card down in here. Let's... Uh, Let's see if I can get here and just show you guys. Yeah. So this guy has the same hookup as the raft. Pretty much he's got the uh, patrol cards and then the aiming cards. I put the mainframe right in front, which I think is probably a bad idea. And then uh, I, don't, I don't need a wireless connection for this because this, this weapon controller is just in front of this gun. And, uh, and, and this is just behind it, so they're connected without wireless. So that works. And, then, uh, and if you want to set the range, you hover over this weapon controller, press Q, and then this is where I set the range to engage, and you slide this around like that. So, so I like I like 500 for this guy, even with this increased gauge size. I like I find 500 is a safe, accurate because you don't want to be wasting ammo too. You know, you want to take ac accurate shots. 
So there you go, so that's the update. Yes, this is the new double fish. When we get into the campaign, I'll probably bust up the other one. And, uh, and, you know, gather all his resources back after I bust it up. And then just, like, rebuild it again as, as this one. You know, just to save time. Because I'm not... Uh, you, you don't really have time in a campaign to go around fiddling around with stuff. Even though we're going to need to build a missile launcher, I feel, for our base. At least, like, maybe a four-rocket missile launcher. I was kind of testing around with stuff over here. I had the six-missile design. But missiles use up so much ammo compared to just, like, regular shooty guns. So I might make a four missile launcher and, uh, and a, a good rate of uh, ammo processors and ammo barrels to missiles I found is uh, two barrels per, per four length rocket and also uh, one ammo processor per, per four length rocket. That's a pretty good ratio. So these can actually keep up uh, generating ammo while these are uh, shooting and not have any uh, slowdown. So yeah, so that's, that's the deal and we'll get to that later. But let me guys show you uh, our ship in a fight. Let's do it up. Let me show you. Let me spawn in a, an enemy here. Let me disable these uh, <laughs> these computers here, just so they don't uh, help in in the fight. So we're gonna do a little little fun test here. Let's uh, just gonna disable this real quick, y'all. No helping. All right. So it is. And let me jump out here so the camera's not moving. Let me just chill out underwater. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. All right. So our devil fish is floating out there on patrol. And uh, let's let's see right now. Okay, so we target him. He's on patrol. He just uh, he's kind of finished. I didn't put him on a loop. I just made him go around once. So he's just currently sitting there, just chilling. Let's just tell him to go like there, I guess. So it's like so it's as if he's on patrol, just hanging out. All right, and then let's spawn in a terrible plane. Let's spawn in like a like a moth. All right, so there's the moth. So right away, I'm gonna go to him. I'm gonna tell him combat. He would fight anyway, even on patrol. But here we go. So this is completely AI controlled. He is fighting this plane right now. Shooting at it. Doing a pretty good, oh yeah, doing a pretty good job. Oh, that thing's shooting at something else, my bad. Well, I think he would have beat this plane anyway. Look at him taking these shots at this guy while he's distracted with, what's he? Oh, he's shooting at that one. I forgot about that little, that little dude. <laughs> but yeah, so he's just taking shots from like downtown. He's just like, with that increased gauge size, helps a lot. And uh, he's still aiming for the ammo barrels on this plane. And he's just going, shooting, shooting. Look at that, he's getting like the underbelly. Oh yeah. So it's pretty good, it's pretty good. Let's go back down to the, uh, let's go back down here. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Definitely want to get back into the campaign, but I just want to show you how cool AI is. I'm not even in this ship, look. I'm not even in here. I don't even need to be here. <laughs> he's just doing this all on his own. Alright guys, well. Back to the campaign, back to the crisis at hand. Okay guys, here we go, yeah, back on the uh, back on the campaign here. What the heck is going on around here? Okay, so it looks like we have a boat that's docked. We gotta take this boat apart and get the new one. This is still the old model, so uh, release dock, let it fall, and then let's go over here, vehicle scrapper. Uh, hopefully it gives me back all the resources, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. And destroy object completely, boom. So, yeah, it looks like we got back all our resources. Sweet. Okay. And now we tell, uh, whoa, whoops, camera. Now we tell this uh, builder over, <laughs> look at these blocks everywhere. Get out of here, get out of here. Now we tell this builder here to go ahead and build the new one, which is actually, this goes by the same name. All right, boat, devilfish. Yes, yes. Uh, the, no, I don't want to delete it. Load it. Yeah, that's 65 crystal required. But that's cool. All right, so we'll let this thing do that. And uh, what else? What else we got going on around here? Um, yeah, we got a fleet coming, so we got to make like a missile launcher. Oh crap! Okay, let's see here. Let's see. Um, right. Oh, they're like right on our doorstep. All right, let me go ahead and save the game real quick, just in case I goof up this uh, this missile launcher, which I probably will a couple times. <laughs> I gotta get some ideas down. All right. So I'm thinking maybe like a post. Somewhere like right here, just kind of posted up, uh, up in the sky. I have like a quad missile launcher. Uh, let me let me <laughs> let me test some designs while these uh, all these dudes are approaching. I mean, luckily I saved the game, so I'll just reload it once I get a good idea, and then I'll bring you guys back to the action. Booyah! Tower of power. Yeah, <laughs> that was great. So yeah, so I went ahead and cleaned up the uh, the fuel area, the ammo area, got all the stuff that we need 
to uh, generate rockets that we're shooting for a uh, four missile rocket launcher. Uh, yep, yep, yep. And the boat's docked there, all finished, completed. Added another repair tentacle onto there, two of them. And okay, so let's get around to building this missile launcher before they get here. Let's just double check. Yeah, okay, so they're still coming and they're pretty close. So let's just uh, let's just get some insurance here. Let's get this missile launcher going. Uh, let's go for a 360 turret. Complete. There's no like, oh, uh, well, actually, you know what? Maybe we should do an Azzy turret. You know what? Yeah, because we don't really want the turret tilting up and down. It might get caught. So let's go ahead and get a just a regular as the only turn. Okay. So I guess this is like front of the base. Let's do that. And then let's get some uh, for the base. Let's use a uh, metal block. So we get like one, two, and then we'll do the whole metal slope thing. I like that. I like the metal slopes. I think it's like this. Nope, wrong one. <laughs> Be like this. Yeah, that looks good. So we'll do it like that. And I'll get like a mirror going on here too, so I don't forget. Well, what the heck was that? Something sounded like it exploded. All right, and then we'll do. Uh, actually, you know what? We won't do the mirror. Okay. And um, what now? Now we need a missile platform. Yeah, I decided to go ahead with the uh, with the full 360 uh, rotating base. <laughs> Just cause. Uh, where is this? Okay. So six connector, and I'm gonna build this thing vertically. Uh, I think. Yeah, something like that. One, two, three. Yeah, there we go. So we'll get some missile launch pads. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. That's good stuff right there. So we'll go one, two, three, four. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> that's gonna be awesome. Huh? Oh, it looks like we got enough resources for this too. Oh, I wonder where I'm gonna put the AI for this thing. Just kind of realized that. That's okay. Let's get a missile block. Let's get four missile blocks on each of these. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, big tasty missiles. Two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Oop, not that many. Let's not get too crazy here. Because yeah, the longer you make your missile, uh, the more ammo it's going to take per missile shot. Doesn't even matter what you load it with. Okay, so we got these really cool looking things. And then we need a laser projector. So where the heck should I put that? Huh. Let me see. Let me go ahead and save this real quick. Let's go ahead and think about this. Because it can't be blocked by anything. Maybe, uh... Oh, you know what? Now that we made this a 360 turret base, I think it'll be okay up here. I think we can just kind of stick it up here, and I don't think it'll be blocked by the missile, uh... By the missile tubes. I think, like, right up here. Missile laser emitter. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah, that should be good. Because this whole thing's gonna tilt around. It should, uh... Nothing should get caught. Yeah. Okay. So, now, uh, oh, how come there's no missiles in there? <laughs> oh, let's see here. There's no missiles in our missile. Uh-oh. Make sure you have a launch pad that's connected to a missile. Uh-oh. Launch pad. Oh, it's not connected? Okay, so it seems like the only thing I have to do for those missiles, those top three missiles to recognize is to just, uh, go ahead and switch the direction that this missile uh, thing is pointing in. Yeah, so there we go. So now these are all connected to missile launcher thingy. Very good. Oh yeah, they look sweet. Very sweet. Let's go ahead and make these, uh, the, uh, let's make them the fatty bud guy since this thing is pivoting and rotating load. Uh, la 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 la. Fatty. Yeah, that one. That's a good one. Load it. Hit it. Assigned to all. So this is the one where there's three frag heads. Yeah, at 45 degrees. And only one set of fins, but that's okay. Because I think this is going to be pointing at whatever uh, is going to die. So that's the way we're going to play it. Super duper payload. I like it. I like it. Let's get some AI on this thing real quick, too, before they get here. How close are they? Oh my gosh, they're almost here. They're almost here. Ah, you guys ready? Uh, I'm sure not ready. Okay. I just need, like, a little bit of insurance here. Okay, um... Darn. Let's go ahead and get a, uh... Local weapon controller. Let's get that like right here. I guess we'll armor this up eventually. So controlling one weapons, all right. And then we'll get a uh, let's say let's see six way connector, and then like a wireless. Uh, ooh, let's uh, let's do another six way connector. Kind of get it like a little further back so this thing doesn't get hit by it. Okay. And then wireless receiver. Yes. I'll point it that way. Okay. So this should be okay. Now we need uh, a mainframe. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, let's see. Let's put the mainframe in the... Oh, this might be a bad idea. This is the safest place that we have. If we can keep this place defended, I think we'll be all right. So let's put the mainframe right next to the uh, fuel barrels. Uh, all right, AI, mainframe, boom. And then little radio dish. Uh, local wireless transmitter. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Is it working? It's working. All right, let's see if it's working. Let's see. You working? Connected the mainframe. Controlling one weapons. You can aim at zero. Okay, looks like it's uh, looks like it's receiving. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, should we set a range for this or something? I don't know. Maximum range to engage. Uh, maybe like two thousand. I don't know. Oh, maybe like. Darn it! I kind of forget how far missiles can fly. Let's just say a thousand for now. Let's just say a thousand. That seems safe. Because a thousand is really far away. Okay. We'll do that for that, and then let's save our game real quick because I'm paranoid because we might get clobbered in like five seconds. And then let's go into here, whoop, go into build mode. Let's add a little functionality to this, shall we? Let's uh, expand this uh, expand this out. So AI card slots, right, left. All right, add two of those. Uh, I guess, well, I guess we only need one of them. So let's go ahead and target prioritization. Let's throw that on there. And then, uh, let's see, aim point selection, yeah. And we don't need this one yet. So that's good enough. Because we really don't need the fortress to be piloting itself and stuff like that. We just need it to have some good shooting. So it's connected, connected, algorithm, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah. Sweet deal. Okay. Well, it looks like we have a brain here, fellas. Oh, okay. And then I guess all that we need to do now is just kind of armor this up a little bit. How close are they? <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh, they're pretty much here. Oh man. I have no idea what to expect or like what's gonna happen. I'm just like I just have like no idea. Uh but we'll find <laughs> we'll figure it out together. Let me go ahead and just like throw some uh wood on this piece here and uh, I'll get back to you guys before they get here. Okay, so it looks like they're gonna be here in twenty seconds. It says attacking uh on one one. But they're like right on our doorstep here. I think this is just um Well I guess we're gonna find out what the heck's going on soon. All right, five seconds. Oh gosh, what's gonna happen? Engaging two enemies. Aha! Oh, look at that! And I put a delay on that too. Sweet. Oh crap! No, not sweet. The uh, the red dot laser thing is not. Uh, it's being blocked. Okay. Oh darn! I gotta get rid of some blocks real quick. They're blocking the line of sight. That's what I was afraid of. Oh my gosh. Oh, and this dude is... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. No way. Oh, my gosh. Dude, stop shooting my fortress. Oh, I should have thought of that sooner. Oh, my goodness gracious. How are we... Oh, my gosh. No, don't land on the base. Don't land on the base. Oh, he's going to land on the base. Um... Oh, my gosh. What? We're gonna have some cleaning up to do around here. Dude! Patrol boat! Dude! Combat! Get over there! Patrol! Get! Get! Get over here! Get! Get out! Go! Go! Ah! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No! <laughs> oh. Okay. So this is what it looks like when a noob tries to, uh tries to handle some AI around here. Oh, it looks like we, we finished them. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness. We have got some work to do, but it looks like we're doing, uh, looks like we're doing good. Looks like we've defended ourselves. Oh yeah, an explosion, sweet. Oh wow. <laughs> that was the most derpiest defense. But it worked, even though we shot ourselves and uh, we had a plane explode on top of us. Uh, oh man. Oh man. So let me go to the map real quick. Let me see what the heck is going on. Okay. Uh, Alright, good. So it looks like the threat is gone. Strength 30, capturing new territory. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So they're coming again. Okay, alright, alright. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, when we return next time, we'll try to get everything in an orderly, tip-top shape here. Uh, looks like we got a lot of resources from downing these guys. But, uh, okay. 
So we will try to clean this base up, make it more efficient, and uh, try not to shoot ourselves next time. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.